In this video, we're going to be showing that the absolute value of a quotient is equivalent to the quotient of the absolute values. So we'll be showing that the absolute value of A over B is equivalent to the absolute value of A over the absolute value of B. For real numbers, Real numbers should be the pound sign here. Real numbers A and B such that, I'll just abbreviate that S dot T dot, such that B is not equal to zero. So obviously we can't divide by zero. And the way we're going to go about proving this is we're going to examine the four cases in which both A and B are positive. A is positive, B is negative, A is negative, B is positive, and both A and B are negative. So just like we did in the case of proving that the absolute value of a product is equal to the product of the absolute value. So case one, case one, both are positive. So I'll put both equals and then the plus sign. So we'll, we'll evaluate both, both sides of this equation and show that they're equal. So in case for case one, both positive, the absolute value of A over B, if they're both positive, the absolute value of A is just, e, is just equal to A itself, and the absolute value of B is just equal to B itself, right? Now looking at the absolute value of A over B, if they're both positive, A over B is going to be positive, and the absolute value of a positive number is the number itself. So these two expressions are equivalent when both A and B are positive. Now case two, A is positive, B is negative. So if A is positive, B is negative, the absolute value of A over the absolute value of B is equal to, well, the absolute value of A is just equal to A itself. The absolute value of B is equal to negative B. A over negative B is just negative. That's the same thing as negative A over B. So the additive inverse of A over B. The absolute value of a over B in this case, well, A is positive, B is negative, so A over B is going to be negative. The absolute value of a negative number is the additive inverse of that number. So the additive inverse of A over B, or A over B tagged along with a minus sign in front of it. With a minus sign, or I should say A over B with a minus sign in front of it. So you can see when A is positive, B is negative, absolute value of A over B, or absolute value of A over absolute value of B is equivalent to the absolute value of A over B. Now case three, when A is negative and B is positive, well in case three, the absolute value of A over the absolute value of B. Well, A is, the absolute value of A is going to be negative A, right? If A is negative, B is positive, the absolute value of B is just going to be B. You have negative A over B, that's the same thing as minus sign and in front of A over B. So the additive, additive inverse of A over B. Well, the absolute value of A over B in this case is going to be the additive inverse of A over B because A, A is negative, B is positive, A over B is thus negative. The absolute value of a negative number is the additive inverse of that number.
And then finally we have case four, where both A and B are negative. In case four, the absolute value of A over the absolute value of B it's going to be equal to, well, the absolute value of A, if A is negative, is negative A. B is negative, the absolute value of B is negative B. Negative A over negative B. A negative divided by a negative is just a positive, so that's just A over B. The absolute value of A over B, well, you have two negative numbers divided by one another, and that's that's just going to be a uh, that's going to be a positive number the absolute value of a positive number is just that number itself right so we just have a over b so the absolute value of a over b is equal to the absolute value of a over the absolute value of b in this case as well so we have covered all four cases here so we have proven that the absolute value of A over B is equal to the absolute value of A over the absolute value of B. There's an important corollary to this. And a, a corollary is just any statement that follows from. So this, so what we, what we found here is the absolute value of A, just to reiterate, the absolute value of A over B is equal is equal to the absolute value of A over the absolute value of B. Well, the corollary is that the um, absolute value of a reciprocal of a number, and this, this is uh, assuming that number is not zero, of a real number, is equal to the reciprocal of the absolute value of that number. And this is, you know, for any real number a such that a is not equal to zero so we preclude division by a or division by zero I should say and this falls directly from this and the way you the way you see that is you look okay the absolute value of one over a well, this is going to be equal to the absolute value of 1 over the absolute value of A. And that's, that's the same deal here. Th that just follows directly from this, right? The absolute value of a quotient is the quotient of the absolute values. But the absolute value of 1 is just 1 itself, right? So that's 1 over the absolute value of A. And we have this expression here on the right. So this statement just follows from the statement we had just proven.